Yo, what is up guys? My name is Cartoons and welcome to another video. Today, what I'm going to be doing is fighting an Enhancement Shaman at level 108 in the Legion Alpha, okay? And I've never fought anybody at 108 because I've been doing like level 100 duels, but I thought I would kind of change it up and try it at 108 because you can't get it to the max level right now. All you can do is get to 108 out of 110 and that's really all you got. There's no PvP talents. Um, pretty much everyone is in like full blues and greens. Like this guy has pretty good gear compared to me actually. He's got his artifact weapon. Um, he's got one green and everything else is blue. I think I've got I've got a few more greens and a lot lower item level, but um, it's all good. He has 1.3 million health and I have about 1.1 million health. So the difference between playing at 108 compared to 100 for the previous videos that I've done on duels and stuff. Um, the difference would be the artifact weapon and kind of seeing it progress. So I have, you know, a couple traits in my artifact weapon and like a couple of these artifact relic slots, which are like increases the item level of the artifact weapon. But otherwise, like I have, you know, cauterizing blink. Whenever I blink, I get healed for a pretty crazy amount, and like my pyroblast does 13% more damage. I mean, there's like this, but outside of that, there's really no abilities that differ between like level 100 and level 108. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duel my friend here. He seems like he's a pretty competent player, and I will see you in the first duel. Alright guys, I'm going to be running Pyromaniac, Shimmer, which gives me two blink charges and is off the global cooldown, and Canner's Flow, Flame On for instant... Inferno Blast, Ice Ward for extra Frost Novas, Living Bomb, and Meteor. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this duel right now. What he's going to do is probably spawn his Ghost Wolves, and I'm going to wait for that to happen so that I can... Um, there it is. I want to Dragon's Breath him. Okay, he's going to sentence right now, so I'm going to go ahead and blink. Dragon's Breath into Combustion, into Scorch for an extra crit, and then start using my Pyro Blast. Uh, once I get low, I'm going to keep blinking because I want to get that heal off for sure. Um, it's a really big deal for me, especially whenever I'm doing, or I'm dealing with all of his Ascendance damage, and it looks like I was able to mitigate um, pretty much all of his damage whenever <laughs> he's pretty upset. Um, whenever he popped his cooldowns, I was able to counter them by using Blink. Uh, the Shimmer combined with Cauterizing Blink is a really crazy thing right now. Um, I don't think that it's going to make it like this in the live servers, so definitely don't think that this is, you know, final, because it's definitely not. But uh, Shimmer gives you two blink charges and it's off the global cooldown and it can be casted while casting. So what that means is I can just like blink and it's off global cooldown and I have two of them. But how it synergizes so well as a fire mage is the fact that cauterizing blink heals you um, over six seconds. So it heals you once per second over six seconds, okay? But what's crazy about it is just the amount of healing it does. So I have 1.1 million health right now. If I were to blink, you can see I heal for 166,000 every second for six seconds, which is like a crazy amount of healing. That's like 900 some 960,000 healing or something like that. Um, I'm not a math major, so don't don't catch me on that. But I think it's somewhere around that. And yeah, being able to heal that much, it's really really crazy. And I definitely think that cauterizing blink will definitely be toned down in the final version of the game. All right, so we're gonna jump into duel two here. We're gonna give this another go. I think that last duel was a pretty solid representation of how I would approach an enhancement shaman because the trick really is, oh, he's trying some new talents right now. Um, the trick really is, is that I wanna get his, his ghost wolves into a dragon spread, but I guess I could just go ahead and use it um, into a combustion, into pyroblast, getting that extra scorch, um, definitely getting a pyro proc going. I probably should have waited because uh, I, I like, wanted to what's it called I, I don't want to get that pyro like purged off of me so it's kind of you know hard but um i'm able to just keep pyroblast going you know keep damage coming out into a fireball off of this dragon's breath into another living bomb into a pyroblast since that fireball crit i'm gonna have another pyro right here because my inferno blast came up um just kiting this guy away i still have two blinks like the amount of healing i'm able to get out is really crazy um, so I'm really not too worried. I have a Dragon's Breath here. Let's get this Pyro off. I got a Pyromaniac proc. I'm going to Meteor here into this Pyro Blast and he should die. Yeah. It's pretty hard for him to beat me, I've noticed. I feel like Shamans are a little bit undertuned in terms of... <laughs> How do you heal so much? Yeah, that's that Cauterizing Blink. But I feel like Shamans are a little bit undertuned and I feel like PvP talents will definitely change that. But, um... 
I've noticed whenever I play my Ellie Shaman versus other classes, it's a lot harder to do anything because you kind of run out of steam compared to other classes. Like Fire Mage is probably the top class in the alpha right now. And I think that over time, you'll see it start to change, especially with PvP talents. But right now, Fire, Mas is, or Fire Mages are pretty dominant. Um, and then up next would be like Arms Warrior, because Arms Warrior does a ridiculous amount of damage. Alright guys, we're going to try something different here. I've never done this before. I've never tested this ability. I have no idea how it works, um, you know, in actual PvP. But what I'm going to try to do is play Rune of Power. And what this does now is it's a 50% damage increase as opposed to a 20 to 25%. Um, damage increase with Encanter's Flow. Um, I'm gonna put this down and just try and like melt the shaman of mine, or my, the shaman friend of mine. And uh, this will be the last duel, as he said. But as you can see, I'm gonna play this Rune of Power into a Dragon's Breath, into a Combustion um, Meteor. Gonna just do a ton of damage. 240k crit. That's insane. Oh my god, I'm melting him. He just died. <laughs> that, that was so funny. <laughs> Damn. He's wow. Okay, we made him kind of mad, guys. Yeah. I'm going to be trying more Rune of Power. That was a crazy amount of damage, especially against the melee because they can't do anything. Like, they can't cut you away from that. Um, that's really interesting. I'll definitely be trying more Rune of Power. Maybe I'll make a video on that with, like, some crazy crits. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up on the video. It does help me out a lot. It gives me great feedback. And also subscribe to my channel for future Legion content. I definitely have done a lot of videos for it, and I want to continue doing that. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, apparently my shaman friend did not, he just disbanded group and peaced out after raging a little bit. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, anyways guys, I'll see you on the next video. Cartoons out.